Hello? Hey, Dad, how's it going? Yeah. I did see an email, uh, you know, come through from Hamchuck Hotline about seven-digit dialing. Did I get it set up? No, I haven't. It's been super busy. Yeah, I caught the video from Vince uh, V6LK. It was a really good one. It seemed pretty easy. Are you struggling on it? How come I haven't done a video on it? Vince did one. <laughs> like I said, he did an awesome job on it. Did you have a problems following along? I know. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll create some of the setup screens for you and send them over to you. You want to put a video out on it? All right, fine. Okay, I'll get a video out. You can let me know. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. All right, let's get that video going. All right, well, welcome to the channel. Uh, like I referenced earlier, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of a step-by-step -step, uh, hand-holding process. If you haven't already, um, and uh, this is your first time uh, hearing about the seven-digit dialing, I would definitely head over to uh, Vince's channel. Uh, his link is in the description below, uh, and check that out as he did an awesome job um, putting uh, a great tutorial and uh, informational update on some of the changes that Hamshack Hotline will be implementing uh, for all of us as we are all uh, quite uh, excited to not have to dial additional zeros here. So, um, but if you're like I referenced uh, earlier, a few of those folks that might have some custom settings on your phone uh, and you don't want an auto provision to wipe all of that uh, work and labor you've done, then uh, you can follow along with me and hopefully uh, this will uh, help you get uh, reconfigured and uh, you know be able to continue to enjoy uh, using your Hamshack hotline. So like I said, if you haven't headed over to Vince's channel and subscribed to him, definitely do that. Uh, he does some great tutorials um, and is a great um, you know, YouTuber uh, in the ham community and uh, you know one of my favorites uh, in terms of podcasting too. He's uh, one of the uh, hosts, uh, regular hosts on um, Ham Radio Workbench. So um, you might, uh, if you haven't already, you know, like I said, head over to his channel, subscribe. So let's get into it. There's a couple of things we're gonna need to do uh, as in other videos that have been produced. Uh, it's roughly three or four steps that you need to do, but what we'll do is we'll start with some of the basics um, because I know a lot of people, they'll, they'll configure their phones, uh, they got set up and you know they've pretty much forgotten how to get back into the interface or try to figure out that process to getting into your phone and getting it set up. So if you haven't done any major customization, meaning changing passwords and that type of stuff, um, this process should be relatively easy for you to follow along. So what we're gonna do first is um, we are going to head over to my phone and uh, I'll show you uh, through a simple, easy process of how to identify your phone's IP address because you're going to need first to get to the phone and the easiest way is obviously um, go into the menu system and I'll uh, walk you through those steps. And then we can dive into uh, getting from your browser uh, to the administration interface and walking through those steps. So let's, uh, let's first head over to the phone here and check that out. With my phone interface, you'll notice that I have a sidecar. There'll be some additional configuration I have to do there, but let's get into the phone interface. So you're gonna press the command or uh, menu button here and then you're gonna arrow down to the option called status, and then you just press a little check mark to get into the next menu. You can uh, then move down uh, till you find the option called network status, and then you're gonna look for a field called IP address. This will be your IP address that you're gonna use to connect in your browser. So I've identified obviously our IP address on the phone, uh, and what I've done is already entered it in my browser here. And so you can see I'm currently at the main administration interface to my uh, Cisco uh, 500 series phone. And what you're gonna do first is uh, you're gonna click admin. And once you're in admin, you'll see that the uh, toggle here changes back to user login. And so uh, just a little indicator that when you're flipping between one or the other, you'll see that um, user will uh, flip to admin and then admin will flip to user. Um, Whatever is currently being displayed is obviously um, the other mode. So you've entered into, uh, in this case, uh, the administration interface 
Now, if you don't have any IP, uh, any passwords set on your phone um, and you've used the default setup, then you should be okay. Um, you'll see a number of different details here. Our next step, what we're gonna do here is click on advanced. And then we are going to uh, just double check uh, that everything is still provisioned here uh, and that everything looks good. Um, so we're gonna head over to our first tab here. And uh, just as I mentioned before, and um, as we identified the IP address, I also have a sidecar, as you saw in the, the, the video here. And that sidecar, I'm also gonna have to modify those addresses and take out a number of zeros for folks uh, and apply that, but uh, I'll walk you through that. If you do happen to have a sidecar, uh, here's some of the configuration steps to do that. But if you don't, you can kind of skip over that step. So we're heading over to phone and you can skip through most of this general setup. This is going to be the line extension information uh, that you might have set up on your buttons on the main part of the phone. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, just double check that there is nothing in here in this interface that I have to make changes to in terms of any digit extensions that I have configured. So if you don't see any of that, don't worry about uh, any of this information here. Again, um, if uh, none of it's really configured um, or um, you know, there's nothing in here per se that is uh, specific uh, to your setup uh, that needs to have changed in terms to the adapt to the seven digit dialing, then you can go uh, over to our next step. And what you're gonna do is head over to the extension one tab. Now this is going to be uh, everything that's configured for your um, setup. I, uh, in my provisioning configuration and the reason why I don't uh, want to use the automatic provisioning option is because I have an additional, um, you know, hams over, uh, hams over VoIP or ham VoIP phone line um, in addition to my Hamshack hotline here. So I am going to only modify the Hamshack hotline setup. And really all you do is you're gonna go down here, look for your proxy registration section where it says the Hamshack uh, hotline US uh, section. And you're gonna go down here and look for the display name. And you're gonna look for the user ID. And you'll see that there is uh, several zeros here. And all we're gonna do is remove three of those zeros. So you only have um, seven digits there remaining. So it'll be in this case, Instead of um, five zeros, I'm only going to show two here. And so that'd be 6100282 is my extension. I'm also gonna go over to the user ID section here as well and just delete out three. So again, two zeros are only showing in the view here. Um, once I'm done, just again, hit the submit button. It'll then send a configuration to your phone. Uh, you can click here to return the configuration page. Um, your phone in the background here will go through a rebooting process. And once it's provisioned, you should see your phone line uh, and everything come back online. And I'll show you uh, in a, a picture here, you'll see that the extension uh, is now provisioned appropriately and my line is active, uh, as well as all of my current configuration has remained the same. So that's really all you need to do in terms of um, going into your phone extension. There's not much more. However, if you do happen to have additional buttons programmed for say, quick dial type extensions of other people, you can go into your extension tabs here really quickly and look for any of those uh, if you have any of those set up. In the case that where I have a sidecar, um, you're going to see that my console card or, or what we call sidecar here has a number of obviously extensions in here. And so again, uh, by manual proxy, I'll have to go in and remove um, all of those additional zeros for any of the extensions here and so forth and so on. Um, and then I'm going to then uh, re uh, go down here at the bottom, do a submit all changes, and then it'll apply those same changes to my sidecar. And then anything in the sidecar configuration will now be updated appropriately. So that's pretty much it. There's really um, not a whole lot of additional things that you need to do to get your Hamshack hotline up to date. But like I said, Vince did an awesome job in explaining all of the details and going into some of the instructions. But hopefully this uh, is an addendum to help you out um, with all of the screens and allow you to be able to see all the configuration um, setups and where and what you need to click on 
that's uh, updating your Hamshack hotline phone. So again, thanks to Vince for putting out that awesome video. And uh, hopefully this uh, helps uh, a few of the folks that reached out to me and was looking for uh, more details and screenshots. So uh, as always, I uh, appreciate uh, all the subscribers there. Uh, thanks again uh, for watching the channel and make sure you like and subscribe uh, this uh, show so it gets out to others that might be in the same uh, situation that, that uh, you uh, ran into this video with. So with that, uh, thanks for uh, watching and 7-3.